Hello class, welcome to 123 English with me. I'm teacher Crystal and I'm super happy that you are in class today. Today we are ready for lesson 61. Yesterday we talked about comparatives and superlatives with just one syllable. Today we are going to learn Rule number two. These are words that have one syllable and end with an E. So if an adjective is one syllable and ends with an E, just add the R or the ST to the end. So for example, you have nice, nicer, nicest, large, Larger, largest. Strange, stranger, strangest. All three of those words are only one syllable. And since they end with the letter E, just add R or ST. So in today's dictation, we are going to have three different adjectives and we are going to use them in a group of sentences together like a short dialogue dictation three separate ones so make sure you have your notebook and your pencil so you can write what you hear and let's begin Number one, today is Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Today is Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Today is Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Number two, I have a cute cat. I have a cute cat. I have a cute cat. Number three, the kittens are cuter. The kittens are cuter. The kittens are cuter. Number four, the small Spotted one is the cutest. The small spotted one is the cutest. The small spotted one is the cutest. There are seven words in that sentence, and three of them are adjectives. Make sure you add a comma between the two adjectives at the beginning. Number five. This shirt is a large. This shirt is a large. This shirt is a large. Number six. Is there a larger one? Is there a larger one? Is there a larger one? 
Make sure you put in the correct punctuation in that sentence. Number seven. No, this is the largest. No, this is the largest. No, this is the largest. Number eight. Who is the bravest person you know? Who is the bravest person you know? Who is the bravest person you know? In that one, you have seven words and make sure you have the correct punctuation as well. Number nine, my brother is brave. My brother is brave. My brother is brave. Number 10. Yes, but my dad is braver. Yes, but my dad is braver. Yes, but my Dad is braver. And that's the last one. Did you get all 10 sentences written in your notebook? Remember, you can write them the best you can. It's okay if you can't write all of the words. If you need to push stop on the video, you can and just push play when you're ready. Now let's check them together. You can fix your mistakes so that they are written correctly in your notebook. Number one, today is Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Today begins with a capital T because every letter at the beginning of your sentence begins with a capital letter. Thursday begins with a capital T because it is the specific day of the week. March begins with the capital M because it is a specific month of the year. Fourth is an ordinal number because when we say the date out loud, it is pronounced as an ordinal number. There's a comma that separates the day and the month, a comma that separates the date and the year, and a period at the end. Today is Thursday. March 4th, 2021. In the United States, this is the correct date format. The day should come first, and then the month, and then the date, and the year. Number two, I have a cute cat. Cute is the adjective. There is no comparison at this point. So it is just the adjective, no change. The adjective cute describes the cat. Number three, the kittens are cuter. Cute ends with E, so you can just add an R to make the comparative form. We use the comparative form when you're comparing two things. So we are comparing the kittens with the cat. And number four, the small spotted one is the cutest. Small spotted are both adjectives. So you need a comma to separate them. The small spotted one 
referring to the kitten, is the cutest. Cutest is the superlative form. It is comparing all of the kittens. So we use E-S-T at the end, but since Q ends with E, you just add S-T. Number five, this shirt is a large. Large is our adjective that describes the shirt. There's no comparison at this point, so large is in its normal form, no changes. But in number six, is there a larger one? This is a question, so you should have a question mark at the end. Larger is comparing to this shirt. This shirt is large, but is there a larger one? One refers to the shirt. Number seven, no. This is the largest. This is the answer to number six. No, comma, this is the largest. The largest is the superlative form. It is comparing all of the shirts that are there. There is not one that is larger than this one. Number eight. Who is the bravest person you know? We started with the superlative form this time. The bravest. Brave ends with E, so you just add ST. That means out of all the people you know, who is the bravest? An answer in number nine, my brother is brave. There's no comparison. I'm just saying that my brother is brave. So brave is just the adjective. Brave describes my brother. And number 10, yes, but my dad is braver. My dad is being compared to my brother. So we use braver. Brave ends with E, we just have to add the R. And remember, since we answered the sentence, we need a comma after yes. Yes, but my dad is braver. There's a question mark after the question in number eight. So make sure you have your correct punctuation. So how did you do with those 10 sentences? Were you able to write the adjective, the comparative, and the superlative? Good. Tomorrow, we will learn rule number three of using comparative and superlatives. For today, in the comments below, you can write three sentences. Use an adjective, a comparative, and a superlative. Try to make it so all three sentences go together like we did in today's dictation. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments below or you can join our Facebook page at 123 English with me so you can participate in the conversations there. So thanks for coming to class today. I will see you again tomorrow. And make sure you hit subscribe if you want to follow along. Goodbye.